small things. When you give back, much in abundance is returned to you. I can see this being a national camp in two years. Yeah. It's the top of the league where dirty compete. Guys, whatever you do, you guys have to give your all. It's the best in the state, meet at Rainer Beach. Come work on your game, work on your range. Okay. The harder you train, the brighter your name. If ball is life, don't earn no stripes. I heard you nice, come show and prove. Pull out the moves, that jumper so smooth. Wet like a pool, her work is the tool. That lead to success, who's really the best, yeah. Hazies and J's, all three days. Get back on D, don't give nothing for free. PG lead the break, Euro with them shakes. Got them all on skates, shooters on wings. Got three for the team. NBA dreams start with the little things. Are you unique? Got a D1 physique. It's the Jermon Crawford camp, are you elite? Best of the best, who sit it and press? To make a highlight, can you pass the test? Split the pick and roll, hit the give and go. Hit them with the juice, catch the alley use. We need the truth. Stake your claim, Crawford camp elite. Get better every game. Perfect your skills with them player drills. Non contest, get the whole Proud or thrill, handle the pill. How does it feel? We'll recognize real. Where do I lay? Kicking that knowledge, help get kids to college. We giving it back so the future is stacked. Are you giving back from effort every day? J crossover, learn from the master. What up, mom? When you put in work, rewards come faster. Come sit and learn the game and film study. Big shout out to D, Huddy. Cause you always kept it real, buddy. Social investment pay dividends. Show kids potential is unlimited. You give back to the youth. I gave back from the booth. You changing their world through every boy and girl. These memories gonna last a lifetime. Cry for the leap. You don't have heart to play this game and you're not tough, you're not gonna last. Not too many guys that are here all day with you guys. We're not the basketball in this video. What did I say? We'll always get you going. The whistle. Okay, one clap, you give me one. If I say two, you give me two. Real easy, right? Two claps. Two claps. Two claps. Good. Let's spread all the way down. Uh, hustle. All the way down. All the way down. Use the whole court. Use the whole court. Good. Quickly. Good. Now, eyes. One clap. Fill in behind somebody facing me. Quickly. Good. One clap. Two claps. One more time. Eyes. Fill in behind somebody, so it should be two, one and two. Let's have a lot of energy. Get ten lines of four, quickly. The whistle will always get you going. Are we clear? Yes. That's a question. Are we clear? Yes. First thing we're going to do, forward lunges with our hands above our head. We're going to do a dynamic warm-up, meaning control the movement. Reinforcement, positive energy is contagious. Go! Yeah, okay. Eyes, when I say eyes, it's an attention grabber, meaning I want your eyes. It pretty much means drop what you're doing, pay attention to what's going on, and uh, let's focus. All the way down and back. Behind the line, meaning behind the line. Ready? Get there, get there, get there. Get there, quick, quick. Shout out Jamal, shout out Nate, shout out Seattle, Tacoma, everybody that's came and is supporting. Breathe in, breathe in, everybody breathe. One, two, three. Five. Five or six stands, you're in a stand. Get it. Left hand below the knees, ready, go. These guys, Nate Robinson, Jamal, these guys are really giving back to the community, really here, really involved, really touching these kids, giving them a lot of good knowledge. Hands on top of the ball. Is the focus is just kind of getting them on track to be able to learn basketball etiquette, be disciplined, learn what it takes to work out, and try to you know, you know, strive to where they can be the next players in this top camp. They want there's a lot of talent in the gym. Yeah. Low tap, I want the ball as low as you can. That's the sign to go hard. Switch to distraction the ball here. Good big. Good. Be quick. Be quick. Shout out Ali Webb for Duxon. And we are here at my home court, Jamal Crawford Court, Randy Beach Viking. Crossover is going to be in between your knees. Go, go, go. Quicker, 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 quicker,
This camp is special because it's about everybody else. It's about every age group, first to fourth grade, and fifth to eighth grade, and the high schoolers. Uh, it's about just giving back. It really is. Basketball is one thing, but I think being a better person is way more important. We'll switch to outside. Big way. Okay, eyes up. Here's our next one. 25. Pepper ball. Good. How many different ways can you do stationary ball handling? So if we're all doing the same drill, what's separating us? Three. Kind of taking a mindset to you know teach the whole game, not just basketball skill, not offense, defense, but mindset as well, which I think is very important. Just can you score in a system? There's a lot of kids here that can score one-on-one -on -one ISO and do their thing. There's a lot of horrible shots, but can you score in a system? The whole point of this whole thing was not just to see who was the nicest. It's not just go out there and run five on five and just get up and down. We could play pick up anywhere. It's hopefully to help make the transition to college a lot easier. Because when you guys get there, even now there's less than 10 guys in the league who can just dribble when they want to. Like you gotta make quick decisions. You got three seconds, basically, and two or three dribbles. So you got, if you ain't got a shot, I gotta drive, I gotta kick it. So if you're here, like you said, going through the motions and you're just shooting a shot, not following through, every time you shoot, you're doing this, or you're not following through, that's gonna be your game for the rest of your life. Happens because as you guys mature in life, it gets harder and harder and harder, and just people just weed themselves out. If you watch me and Jamal shoot the ball, it'll be the same way every single time. It took a lot of work to get there. I was the same kid trying to learn how to shoot. I was learning, I wanted to learn how to shoot. That was the only thing I didn't have as a jumper when I was young. I could play defense, run, play hard the whole game, not get tired, had handles. And that's what we're here to educate them on, just about, not just with basketball and working hard and fundamentals and you know cool stuff like that, but just to be, you know, good kids, good uh, you know, being you know good to your teammate, to the person that's next to you, and to pay it forward by giving back to your community. And so hopefully, hopefully one day when they get older, they'll be doing the same thing that we're doing. And uh, that will be their job of paying it forward. And I learned how to be a great shooter by just over and over, repetition, repetition, following through. Jamal Crawford's top 30 elite, first time ever in the history of Washington State with this been done. This is special because you guys are the first group. We have some of the top kids in our state in the camp, you know. We've talked about how we can expand this camp and obviously we want to give our kids in the state the best experience. Next year it'll be the whole Northwest and the year after that will be the whole country. And eventually, you know, it'll be a nationwide thing. It'll be the top 100 in the country. He's a visionary. We talk all the time just about different ideas and the, uh, the, the way we can affect change off the court all the time. He's had national players reach out to him. And so we see this in the next two, three years becoming a national camp where we can invite the top 40 kids in our country here to compete in Seattle and, and give them everything from skill development, from offensive IQ, defensive IQ, classroom film session. We're going to watch film today. It's all about them going to the next level, seeing how it'll be when they go to college. It won't be a shock when they go there. You know, they've been taught some of these things, and that's what it's all about. You see all these other camps, this is going to be second to none. I remember being you guys' shoes, like, no lie, being in high school just dreaming. I mean, dreaming about playing Division I, dreaming about going to the NBA. And I wish I knew then what I know now. And it's our job to give you guys all that. Uh, we've had nutritionists come in to help kids learn how to become healthy, what foods to eat, you know, and so he's just done a good job to kind of give. He's played 18 years in the league, so to be able to give the tips that have, you know, allowed him to play that long, I think it's important that these kids are getting that at a young age, 15, 16 years old, to be able to take with them to their college career and possibly pro career. Is that a goal or two? Do right by yourself. I'm telling you, it's so, so important. Help is wealth, I promise you guys. You gotta be available, you gotta be on the court. You wanna feel your best, you wanna have more energy. Basketball is just like in the country now, it's a world again. You got people in China, you got people in Africa, you got people in Europe. There's good players all over the place. So put the work in. If you guys really want it, whatever you do in life, put the work in. Give yourself the best chance to make it. There's not too many guys in the NBA. I'm always going to be a Hall of Famer one day, guys. Believe it. Trust me, listen. You're going to be a Hall of Famer. There's not too many guys that are here all day with you guys. Like, how cool is it you guys get to hang and be with him all day? You don't have to be here. He can have, I, I, I didn't been to seeing different guys come in, say what's up, and leave. He's here with you guys. 
just to be great at anything you do. Nate didn't just play basketball, he played football. He ran track. Now he's in this community giving back. That's what it's about. But you guys, whatever you do, you guys have to give your all to it. Or else you're just cheating yourself. My advice to you guys, like you said, just be the grind, hard workers, great listeners. You gotta be able to listen. You gotta be able to know plays. You gotta know where everybody is on the court. Not just being a point guard. Everybody should know. Whatever position you're at. You should know the point guard all the way up to the center. Who's to say you can't be the number one pick in the WNBA draft? Who says that? No way. So somebody in here can't be the number one pick in the NBA draft. You should believe it. You should want to be. Because I was a kid. I knew I was making it to the league. I already knew. When I was 10 years old, I told my mom, I'm going to either bat the NFL or NBA. I promise you. I was just hungry for it. It's the only thing I can think of as a kid. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grinding. I'm, I'm making it. Y'all got to want it, though. Y'all got to be hungry for it. I told you. You got that one and done. Like you said, eager to want to win, to want to compete. You come Don't be mad at me. Don't stop because the shots are going to come from the outside. Then you got to get to the heart of the league, and then you got to leave better put it back. I'm going to do this wrong, man. Let's go. Like, your dreams should scare you. Like, the greatest gift that I've ever gave or received is to know that kids come up to me and tell me, man, you're, you're an inspiration. You guys have magic. I'm five foot nothing. I wasn't supposed to make it out of Raider Beach. Y'all don't get that? I don't understand. They told me I couldn't do a lot of things. Everybody has got to think big picture. We still take it one day at a time. Like, we got to think about not just now, like, hey, I got a handle, I want to show it off. I'm not saying don't do that. But whatever it is, make it quick. Make it good, clean basketball. It's better to play that way. The drills that we've done during camp, I mean, obviously, we're working on all types of skill development from ball handling to passing to footwork to scoring. To right we've even taken an emphasis on defense. We're teaching these kids how to play basketball, not just be an offensive player. Two ways you can get him the ball without directly passing it to him. We've talked about toughness. Skill is important. If you don't have heart to play this game and you're not tough, you're not going to last, okay? Not a lot of camps where you see a loose ball drill. It is what it is. Washington is doing things. Trust. I want you guys to get on the floor. Show me how tough you are. Show me how tough you are. Who's going to state championship here? Man, what school are you going to? You better go to You better go to Make sure for loose ball, you're playing freshman ball. I coach it for. And uh, this is why we won a state championship. The best players in the world are playing like they're in high school. Like, nah, I don't want to go yet. I'm cool. But so dive, use the motion to get the ball. But once you get it, don't be in a rush. That kind of stuff you got to be ready to do. All right, got to love it. Got to love taking that intensity on the defensive end and take personal pride in it. All right, it's personal. He's not getting a bucket on me. He's not. All right, that's how you have to play the game. Uh, I work on three, one, two, three. Four. Jab, cross, step. Jab, cross, step. Nice and low, here, finish there. You shoot from one spot, you rotate to your right. Does everybody know where your right is? Yeah. The ball should come off these two fingers last. Straight to the rim. being a speaker, but just being here, interacting with the kids has been uh, phenomenal for me, feeling to give back to the community. That's what they're doing. Uh, the kids have brought uh, shoes, you know, to uh, shoes that they've had at home, uh, 
to give back to you know other kids that don't have shoes and I think that's a you know, that's a great a great step for them to teach them how to pay something forward. They didn't have to pay obviously and, and normally this is a, a $375, $400 camp but your, your entry fee was just donating a shoe for somebody else. Somebody can, can use it more than you can. Uh, it's about taking care of each other, taking care of our community. And I thought that was the point. If everybody's giving something, that's what kind of you know makes our community special. We supply fully stocked backpacks. The boys get haircuts. The girls get their nails done. Uh, so they go to school feeling good. You know, I think it lifts a burden off the parents. You know, they're fully stocked. They don't have to do anything. When you go to school and you have a fresh haircut, you got all your school supplies. You feel better. You have more confidence. You want to be in class. And hopefully, we can encourage that and promote that. I think everybody wins. Like for me, I don't do stuff for attention, but I think if, if, if the word gets out there and inspires somebody else to do it, then we're, we're helping everybody and that's what it's all about. I remember being these kids age, and they don't know it right now, but these memories are going to last a lifetime. For me, that's what it's all about. Again, it's been awesome here, you know, especially being in the inner city where I grew up, right down the street, Rainier Beach, uh, being here. One of the best high school teams, best high school uh, programs in the country. Uh, very proud of that. So for me, it's, it's always been a blessing. It's always been easy for me to come down and show my face because I mean, I'm, I'm a part of the community. Man, he can't be doing James Brown. He can't James Brown and Juice Wrld travel. They got momentum right now. We gotta stop it. <laughs> You're watching your clips. They, they got momentum. We gotta stop it right now. So I'm always be here whenever Maul needs me. Uh, you know, Rainier Beach 206, man, we hold it down. We bond together as a unit, man. The drag, if you want to turn it into a hazel, you can, okay? It can either be drag, straight shot, or drag hesitation. It's your choice. The higher you elevate, the more they start scouting you. So you got to have a counter for it. Then you, gotta, when you get really good, you got to have a counter to the counter. So he's showing you guys counter. It's all progression. So you got to communicate. It's, they got an advantage, so you guys got to talk even more so, right? Cover for each other. You gotta use energy in your voice. Eric, 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 I see him. I'm on top. Corner, corner. All right, get there. Oh, oh, I should be able to put a board across your back and it should be able to balance. You have one minute. Your knees, off your knees. 
the core right. The best players are in the best shape. Of course, it's my open step. I'm hoping. Well, that's coming. We're pipping. One down from school. To the right wing, we'll probably have eight kids at each basket. Get there, go! Show a lot of energy. Um, the drills is just to uh, be patient. Don't rush like your shot once you like come off a screen or something, and like follow through. My signature move is like the behind the back. I like it the most in that crossover. My specialty, uh, I lead people. And my counter move is my behind the back. So that's why my specialty move. That's how I get past everybody. It doesn't matter who it is. His his signature move, the shake and bake, where you go behind the back twice and hit him with the layup. That's probably one of my favorite moves I love to do. And the things I liked about the Jamal Crawford camp that we put a lot of work into our dribbling and our hustle and our energy and our leadership. Uh, probably my goal for this year is to win a state championship with Cleveland High School. Gatorade player. You know, trying to have a big time year for my, my last year in high school. Mr. Basketball, state champ. Uh, you know, want to average 25 and 10, you know, be the guy. Basically be first in everything. And try and get a Gatorade player of the year in the state. I just want to say thank you to Jamal Crawford. It's a blessing having somebody to come in. For him helping the community and giving back. It's, really, it's a really blessing for him to give to us. I really appreciate Jamal throwing this camp for us. He speaks upon everything, nutrition, um, weights. Um, it's not just about basketball, really. It's about taking care of your body. And uh, it was a lot of fun. See all my homies and stuff. Play basketball, one of my favorite sports. Him coming back, talking to us, giving us tips to get where he's at is just nothing but blessings. And I'm just grateful for him to come back and give me tips because I'm trying to be where he's at right now. 
he's not like a celebrity to us. He's like a, just like a big homie who has, like he said yesterday, a lot of money. So that's how we look at him. Before we look at him as somebody who cares, somebody who's here to help. It's very special. Because Jamal breathes, sleeps, and eats basketball. That's what he does. I mean, it was his first love before anything else. I like the drills that he's been giving us because in the NBA, you know, it's like change of speed, um, off the ball, cuts, and stuff like that. So it's not really just one-on-one -on -one situations. It's like, how are you going to score without it? You know, I got really close to him working out with him the whole summer, um, talking to him a lot, picking his brain. Um, really, I've been always been a slasher all my life, and I've just been trying to improve my range. I'm great for mid-range, and now I can shoot the three very well. I'm just trying to make that more consistent. This camp is awesome. I went to all the camps, and it's fun. I like that how we had to give a shoe for a community give back. You get to see actually a real basketball player, and not a lot of kids can um, be able to have that opportunity. They play basketball good. They have good games. So there's no slacking. You got to work hard 24-7. It's different because there's more coaches and like more people that I know around me helping me out. You know, good for guys to go against each other. So see who's the best. See who's really, who's really top 30. One of the best camps in the country. Kids working hard, getting it in. Top 30. Shout out to JC, you know, that's my big bro. Shout out to everybody here. Shout out to Ada, we here. Those who make it, those who go to college, whatever, just make sure you guys give back. Make yeah. sure you guys give back. This, this is important, important. this is important, important. y'all. Yeah. This, 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 this is how it starts. This is gonna be, there's gonna be somebody younger than you who's gonna be really good, who's gonna need guidance. We're gonna need to know the, the knowledge that you guys know. Just pay it forward. That's all, I don't want nothing from you guys but to do that. The next generation is a fifth grader right now who's really good. You know what I mean? Or maybe he's not good now, but he's working towards it. He cares about basketball or whatever he cares about. Just pay it forward, look out for him. It's never just about you. You know what I mean? Like, it's never just about you. It's about your team. I played here, like I said, 98, and they still talk about our championship team back then. I didn't care. I don't even remember what I had in the championship game. It didn't matter. I just missed it, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, not a bad good. friend. Man. It's good. Yeah, right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this is my favorite camp by far. Like, to see these guys come up and just get the knowledge that I got now. I wish I got somebody to do that thing. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. from, from eating right to everything. Acting like, right. Stretching. Acting right. You know what I mean? Like, everything. Absolutely. With all the distractions that's going on right now, too, man, it's good to have this. Yeah, 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 but it's gonna be, this is my first camp like this. And especially me, this group will always be special to me, so. Yeah, you guys see. It's good to meet y'all, man. I hope y'all stay out of trouble, man, and work hard, man. You know, it's hard to make it out here these days, man. Yeah, tell them about the journey, how it, no matter what, it ain't never gonna be easy. It, is it, it ain't never gonna be easy and it's never gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people see, all that they see what happens on Instagram or when, or they only see the, the, the championships. They don't see the injuries or the, the, the not getting along with teammates and coaches and, you know, all the things that, all the variables that can happen in this business, you know? Yeah. Y'all keep your head on straight, man. Y'all gonna go far, man. There's a lot of good basketball in this city, man. For sure, man. Yeah. He's, he's like family, away from family, you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's entrenched, he's as genuine as I've ever seen. So, y'all know, y'all know what it is. Yeah.